Hi, welcome back. I'm actually going to get a chance to do the review on this kitchen utensils I've been talking about. I've actually got four sitting here in front of me and I've got what I use to seal it up. So the first one we have is a little spatula. It's actually a beautiful grain. This is olive wood and it comes from a website called Natural Olive Wood. Price wasn't actually very bad. Um, this I've already used once. It worked great. It's got good quality. I mean, it's got a little bit of give for using. It was really easy to clean. Um, as you can see, it's been used and cleaned and it's still looks really nice. Olive wood is a very dense wood, so you don't really have to worry about germs or anything getting in, but I do seal them and it came sealed. Next one I got was the wooden spoon. This one I actually haven't used yet, but it looks like a combination of a wooden spoon and kind of a spatula. Now I like using wood. Now that with the new house, I've got a gas stove. I use cast iron quite a bit. So I went on the search for wooden utensils so I don't ruin the seasoning. Now this spoon is solid. I mean, it's a good, I would say, half inch thick. Um, again, olive wood. It's got a nice grain to it. Grain to it. I have no complaints over them. They feel great. They work great. They're strong. They've been sturdy. When I ordered these, all I ordered was the spoon and the spatula. They sent me a little present. Some little appetizer items. A little appetizer spoon. Again, made of olive wood. And an appetizer fork. Now, I haven't used the appetizer spoon yet, but I used the appetizer fork with some olives, and it didn't work so well. I, there was no really grabbing an olive with it or poking an olive with it. And it might be because now I'm noticing. Let's see how well the autofocus works. One of the prongs is kind of dull. I'll have to sit and sand that down, see if we can improve it. But otherwise, this was kind of a failure. But it is a nice thought. It looks very nice. I mean, I, I used all this stuff for Christmas and it looked very nice to have it out. I had kind of a traditional vibe for my Christmas setup, so the wood definitely helped. Now, when I clean my wood products to include my cutting boards, um, I don't do it on my grill scrapers just because they get high heat. But when I clean my stuff off, I go back through and I seal it. And what I made, now there's a lot of options online. I made, with a Milwaukee pickle jar, I made a wood butter, which is basically mineral oil, and this one is a mixture of paraffin wax and beeswax. Boiled them down, and I just, with a paper towel usually, but put them on, give them a nice rub down, it's got the oil that kind of seeps in and, you know, moisturizes the wood. And then it's got the wax on it that just seals everything up so you don't destroy it in a dishwasher. Now, I, I don't have a paper towel. I probably shouldn't have done this. But, you know, it gets it a nice shiny look again. It protects it, you know, from any moisture it gets. These do not go in a dishwasher. Wood does not go in a dishwasher. I had been told that, but I was stubborn enough, and I had to learn the lesson on my own with some of the old, cheaper stuff I had, and they just turned black. They were garbage. So, in general, I really like these. I think they're a great little product for cooking in the house. Um, I would even take them out and use them with the grill. I do use my cast iron on the egg and the Traeger, depending what I'm doing, so... Good little products. I just wanted to do a short little review. Um... I'll put some links down to the products below. I'm going to look at 
selling these, getting them in my store, doing wholesale maybe, seeing if I can get them in the hardware store too. So we'll see. But if you want them, I'll leave the links in the bottom. Go grab them up. They're good, pretty good quality, and olive wood is just beautiful. If you found this video at all helpful, hit the subscribe button, like, and have a good night.